Awesome. So just to go over again, you heard from Isaac Seigel on bass. You heard Sean Stover on tenor saxophone. You heard um, Ben Bleaches on trombone, Savannah Platt on trumpet, and Kishal Kateri on alto saxophone. Last week. Uh, the next song you're going to hear is uh, a funk tune by Herbie Hancock called Watermelon Man. And uh, the, the solos you're going to hear from on this song is you're going to first start with Kushal Kateria on uh, alto saxophone. We're going to jump over to Chris Harry Heron on trumpet. And then uh, Sean Stover on tenor saxophone. And then last but not least, we'll hear from Kenna Boyd on drum set. So here's Watermelon Man.
My name is Meredith Foreman, and I am one of the adjudicators for the National Jazz Festival. And before we get started, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on a wonderful and exciting performance. I was overjoyed to see so many students expressing themselves through the art of music. I can tell that you all have a love for music and for jazz in particular, and that you're committed to being the best that you can be. Now, in this video, I will walk you through your shortest performance piece and comment on various themes that were consistent throughout your set. It is our hope that my comments, along with the other two judges' written comments, will provide you with a balanced perspective on different aspects of your performance. I hope these comments help to elevate your performance to the next level and validate the hard work you've done so far. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen so we can watch together. All right, here we go. Yeah, I like how the bass player starts the tune. It's got the tempo set. Nice clave entrance on the drum. Yeah, so you guys locked in right away. Excellent. That phrase Where is it going? Where is it? Excellent intonation there. Going back to the front. Maybe put a crash when it goes back to the beginning of the convention. Put a crash and put a little color change. The trumpet was all play there. Nice. Hey, you guys, right before that solo, you had this phrase. You got the dynamic. I would like to see you guys push more in that area or in both of those areas. So your mid-range baby goes about here. How about doing this? Ooh, all the way out, all the way back down. So when you guys have big loud hits, nice big breath and fast air, so that way it's it's more exciting and we can hear it. You draw the audience in with that small sound and then you bam, you hit them with the loud sounds and then everything in the middle feels a lot more natural and it's a lot more exciting. It keeps the audience guessing. 
right? So in general, here's some notes that I wrote down. Um, I love the feel of the band, even in the rest of your music, everything that was there. Let me stop sharing my screen so I can see you guys a little bit better. Here we are. So what I noticed was the feel of all of your pieces, everything was tight. You guys totally understood the style of each piece that you were working on. And I can tell that you all did your homework. Even when it came to the soloists, you guys were reading the core changes really, really well, especially for your age. And I really appreciated hearing that. All of the ideas were fresh. The rhythmic ideas were fresh. So continue doing those things. Continue working in those areas. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Brass hits, anytime you have um, a hit behind the melody, they sound great articula articulation-wise. Just be careful not to rush anytime you have something on the end of count two. Sometimes you tend to push a little bit instead of having that nice relaxed feel like the rhythm section is setting there, okay? So you want to always get that from your drummer, especially if they have some eighth note pattern happening. You want to make sure your eighth notes, whether it lands on the downbeat or the and beat, are always locked in with the drummer's hi-hat or cymbal, wherever he is. If he's on the ride cymbal or the hi-hat, you wanna make sure it's locked in, okay? Uh, let's see, Sack, the soloists, all of the soloists were great. I loved all of them. I was very impressed, as I said before. Rhythm section, great job. Bass player, very, very nice job on the groove. Also, you always had a very nice, relaxed sound. Nothing ever felt rushed. Everything was pretty much in the pocket. I appreciated that very much. So those are my comments for your tune. And in general, throughout all of your pieces and the rest of your show, you want to make sure that you find areas where you can over-exaggerate dynamics. I think that's going to elevate you guys to the next level. Anytime you have staccato notes, make sure that you just over-exaggerate, even bitier. Anytime you have emphasized notes and crescendos or any of those things, just overemphasize articulations though as well, not just dynamics. That's all I got for you. I wish you guys the best of luck during this festival and for the rest of your school year. All right, my pleasure. Take care.